again with an install video and today we're gonna be installing my Dolbin Sins MRR 3.5 inch lift kit my boys it's kind of like a mid travel kit it's not a long travel but it's a mid travel mid extended travel um yeah we're gonna install it today I got this actually for a sweet deal Dobinson was doing like a 15% off like discount and I bought it through um, exit off road and yeah, I saved like $611 out of this. And yeah, today we're gonna install it. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna start with putting the e-brake up. It's already up right there. And we're gonna put these uh, stops, you know, speed stop, bump stop, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, we don't want the car rolling off when you got it jacked up. Cause we're kinda in like an angle in the driveway. Josh is all jacked up from the front. She's on some six ton Daytona jack stands from Harbor Freight. Yeah, let's get the wheels removed. All right, guys, it actually has been almost two days since I worked on this because, you know, we went snowboarding. Then after that, I, Thanksgiving, the next day, I just want to take a day off. But yeah, I started getting the suspension on. I'll show you guys what I did on the other side because it's not fully done yet. I just started it. See, I just barely taken off the bolt up here and the nut on the ball joint. But yeah, let's get back to it. All right, I want to start by putting this protector over the line for the reservoirs. Shout out to Kendall, my boy on Instagram. Uh, yeah, he recommended these and yeah, I'll put it on. After a few minutes of just feeding it through the hose, she is on and she looks so good. It doesn't ruin the flexibility or anything. It's still very flexible. And yeah, it just gives you a peace of mind so you don't rupture the hose that goes to your uh, reservoir. All right, just took off the 19 millimeter bolt on the bottom of the suspension. And I also popped out these uh, lower control arm bolts. It's both 19. And it's just easier to pop the suspension out because you just push this down and she'll just feed straight down and you can just feed the new one in super easy Out. What up, man? <laughs> but yeah, here's side by side comparison within the two. I got a very heavy spring for the front to support the metal bumper that I have. Um, yeah, these are non adjustable, by the way. And I'm not gonna adjust anything until I get the car on the ground and uh, let the spring settle. Then we'll see how much we gotta adjust it by. But yeah, let's put it on. All right, before I start putting the suspension, I'm just gonna clean up where the area of the suspension is gonna be because once it's on, it's gonna be hard to clean in that area. Let's get it. All right, I got most of it out. Uh, I mainly focused on where the strut is gonna bolt up against and sit up against. And yeah, I just don't want a lot of dirt in this area. So when I do tighten it up, it's gonna be nice and tight. It doesn't have like rocks in between the nut and the face of this plate, but yeah. Let's put the suspension in. Definitely better if you have somebody holding it while you're tightening it, but I'm a one man army. All right, so we're just gonna let the reservoir just dangle for just for a little bit until we remove this upper control arm so we can feed this through and sit in this area. But first, let's get the lower control arm up and bolt it up against the bottom of the suspension. 
All right, with the suspension still loose, let's line it up with the lower control arm. Tighten it up. You already know what I gotta do. Oh, God damn, boy. Oh, yeah. That shit is good. Oh, yeah. 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 And I'm still on my slippers. But still, yeah, you gotta take this um, top bolt right here on the upper control arm. It's a very long bolt, but you're gonna have this bracket interfere it. So you gotta take a 10 millimeter and yeah, take it up. Bracket is out. Now you grab your longest uh, screwdriver. Super, super long, super long, not as long as me though. Oh, 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 ninja. Oh, 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 okay. So yeah, you stick it into this hole, then bang, 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 then shoom, 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 stick it in the hole, shoom, 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 then it pops the bolt out. All right, let's do it. And that's it. Oh yeah, don't she hot boy? She long hair boy, long hair boy. Oh, oh. Sorry, kids. Don't tell your parents about me. Don't be watching this video. Yep. After two hits on the nut and a few on the actual knuckle itself, control arms loose. And yeah, let's put the new one in. Also, while we're here, here's the part number of the spring that I went with. But I gotta take the sticker off because the only thing that I like white and sticky is um. Puto. It's a Filipino dessert. Puto. Bye bye. Side by side comparison between the two. I mean, there wasn't anything wrong with the Freedom Off Road. I love them. But hey, we're rocking Dobinsons. We gotta rock Dobinsons up for control arms too. A little bit expensive, but baller. Baller alert. Alright, the upper control arm is in. The bolt is already through the whole control arm, not on the other side. Washers should only be on the outside as per Dobinson's instructions. And they said, do not tighten that nut until the car is seated on all four wheels. Yeah, we're gonna wait until that happens. Now let's work on the bracket. Alright, we gotta loosen up the sway bars. Also gotta loosen up this end link on the sway bar itself. The end link out, flip our bracket in, right here. Take off this condom, put this bracket, Slip it through and we're gonna mount it over here. Bolt, lock washer, and washer. And not for it. About two and three quarters on this side. And two and three quarters on this side. Standing her up. I just follow the angle of this bracket. She's tight. And she's tight. Kabam.
get it. I don't get it. Sweatpants, like, like my sweatpants, everything here. Also, for the guys concerned about the diff drop, uh, yes, I already had a diff drop kit from the old suspension, so I didn't bother getting another one from the Ovensons. But yeah, right now, this is how she sits. She a little uh, Carolina squat because we haven't done the rear yet, but that will have to wait till tomorrow because I'm hungry and running out of sunlight. So, see you guys tomorrow. Boom, we back. It's the next day. Let's get back to working on this girl. But, yes, it's still a little cold. We got the heater out. It's ice everywhere. But let's measure how much wheel gap we get before we start. Yeah, we just got a little under five inches, just a little under. But yeah, let's get her jacked up. Alright guys, if you guys are lifting your GX470 this high, it's a 3.5 inch lift, you're gonna need extended brake lines because these OEM ones are gonna stretch out when you flex and you're gonna end up rupturing them and uh, you're gonna leave you with no brakes. So we're gonna need to be taking this out and replacing it with these trail gear extended ones. Uh, they're fairly cheap, but you're also gonna need a 10 millimeter uh, line wrench because these things tend to strip out if you use a normal box wrench or a crescent wrench. So yeah, let's get it out. All right, we're gonna start with the bottom fittings first because it'll let you drain out all the residual brake fluid straight down into my drip pan. Less messy and yeah, let's get it. You're also gonna need a crescent wrench just so the actual line doesn't spin in the back while you're loosening the, with a uh, line wrench. Okay, she's cracked. This one didn't need the crescent wrench, which is good. All right, with the hard line fittings loose, you gotta take these retainer uh, rings out or retainer clips, whatever you wanna call it, which pliers, I already took one out. Yeah, all you just gotta do is just clamp it in there and just like bend it. Bam, 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 bam. Oops, sorry. And she's out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. One is definitely longer than the other. And yeah, bye-bye. Hello. All right, so the spring clips are in on both sides, um, the OEM ones and the one it came with. So when you guys are tightening these uh, fittings, you can angle your hose like this. So like, let's say I want it on this section, then I can just tighten it. And boom it'll stay in that section i did it like this so it doesn't get pinched within the uh, spring itself and it's just way out of the way and yeah all right next we gotta remove the sway bar you're just gonna pop the brackets on both sides you don't have to take the sway bar completely off <laughs> it's a 12 mil <laughs> Uh, sorry for the noise this heater is making but it's cold outside and I don't want to be cold and get sick so this side of the sway bar is out we just gotta go to the other side and we should be good to go with this one right now we gotta remove the old suspension out it's a three quarters I believe or 19 mil 
Yeah. The lefty loosey. I guess this is a cheat, by the way, just so it pushes up against the frame while I loosen the top nut up. Keeps the shock absorber from spinning. All right, nut washer and bushing is out. Now we're just gonna pop this, um, I think 17 millimeter bolt. And yeah, we'll be good to go. We're just gonna do the other side. All right, let's go to the other side. Oh, shout out to Perry, by the way, I love this. Right here's how they look next to the new ones. I mean, they look the same, but this one has a reservoir. And yeah, let's remove the springs next. I had to take the springs out. You're gonna need to take out this puck. It's a 3 4 or a 19 millimeter. It's up to you, whatever you have. There's also a nut under it right here that you gotta hold down in place while you loosen up the bolt. Cup. Lucky for me, I don't have to jack up the other side for this spring because it's a very light spring. I just pull it out like this. But for the Dobinson one, I definitely need to jack up that side. All right, here's the side by side compression within the two. Uh, here's the part number for the spring. There you go. Right, let's put it on. Before you put it on, make sure you clean where the Spring's gonna sit, just so there's no debris in there. Boom! And she's in. All right, just put the nut back in using my tiny Filipino fingers. You know, it's easier for me compared to somebody with big fingers. All right, both springs are on and the cups are in and tightened. Follow the same orientation we have here on the instructions. Bam! All right, we're gonna start by putting the bottom of the shock absorber in first. I have to compress it up just a little bit so we can fit it. I have to drag up that side a little bit more. A little bit of finessing. She's in. I'm just gonna hit a hammer a little bit more than Here's the tricky part. We have to compress the actual shock absorber itself so we can put it inside this bracket. But you know, I ate a lot of lumpias for Thanksgiving, so easy. She's in. Bolt is tight. Now we gotta put this reservoir in. We're gonna be putting it right there by the sliders. Take the condom off. It's a foreskin. A foreskin condom blanket. Thing in my bobbers. The bracket. Make it snug for now. So we can find the right place for it. Dobinson provided some hardware. She's tight. Here's how she looks. She's protected by the rock sliders, and you have access to you know, adjust the dampening. Take off this netting. Lift up the sock. And Dobinson actually gave us a uh, zip tie for this. Let's cut off the excess. Man, she's 
good to go. All right, both sides are done. I actually took off my sway bar because I want to see this rear end flex. It's a it's an extended travel, yo. So let me, I want to see the flex. So let's put the wheels back on and let's drop her. Moment of truth. Let's get it. And there she is. Uh, we're gonna let the spring settle. Oh, before you drive, make sure you guys um, bleed your brakes. Let's you see how much we gained. We gained just about an inch and a half. Just a little bit, it, yeah, a little bit over an inch and a half from the rear. Well, it might be different for you guys because I have a lot of gear on this, so yeah. I also had the adjustable um, panhard rod, but I'm not gonna put it in there because I have a part coming in from uh, Dr. KDSS. And if you guys know what that is, comment in the section below. Cause you know, if you know, you know. You just know. You just know. guys that's it for this video it's just a simple install but i was too lazy and took me like two days to just do this but yeah make sure you get an alignment by the way because you mess with all the suspension components and you want to save your tires but i'll be upgrading to mt soon so 35s um but yeah i got this little um squad happening right now because i got all this gear in the bag and you know I'll just let the spring settle, then I'll adjust the front suspension itself. Um, but yeah, that's it. She's tall and I love it. Thanks, Dobinsons. Thanks, Kendall. And thank you for watching, guys. I mean, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, man. I just started YouTube, so I'm not the best at this. But yeah, see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.